And this is Gainsboro, and um, we're gonna be painting this picture. We're gonna try to use it with acrylic. So I've got my paints here, just a small bit of each, maybe a little bit more white, because um, I'm gonna use it to mix colors. I'm gonna try to do it with just one brush, because that's all I think it would be good for the students to have. They need a, a cup of water, and they need a rag or um, paper towels to dab on. Um, Every student's gonna get one of these and we're gonna explain to them that these are the pictures that after we paint our landscape, we're then gonna cut out and put on our landscape. But we're gonna do our landscape first so it can have time to dry. Then we'll take these and we'll color them with colored pencils and then we'll cut them out and we'll have our finished product. So there's our finished product and it'll go on the landscape so you can kind of think about where she's gonna go. I'm gonna try just to replicate this landscape as best as I can. I'm not gonna make it my own. So I'm gonna try to go quickly for time's sake, I'm not gonna try to be a perfectionist or anything. Um, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is, is the grass because I wanna be able to have time for it to dry so I can do the, um, so I can do the trees. There's gonna be a little row of corn over here. Kinda goes off the page a little. You're gonna wanna put down um, paper underneath this so that these acrylics don't get on the tables. I'm gonna come in while my paint's still kinda wet in just a minute and show you how we can give it some dimensions by adding different colors in. I'm gonna take actually a little bit of yellow, not a lot, just a little, and just kinda put it in different little sections. Even a little bit of white here or there and then just kinda Go back in with little, I like to make little X marks with my brush. That kind of helps to blend the colors good. Back and forth X's is how I describe it. And then you can kind of move it in different sections. Do a little over here. Just a little light. And that'll kind of give it some. Maybe give it a little more green. Okay, so next I'm gonna go through and do wash my brush and dry it really well. I'm gonna go through and do the cornfield, which is mostly yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and put down my yellow. Some of the green got in with it, but that just kind of makes it look streaky, so that's okay. I'm gonna put just a touch of brown, and then I may add some white to it as well, just to kind of make the rose. My daughter Lily said it kind of looks more like um like a road than it does cornrows, but what you can do is, I'm mixing a little red and brown and yellow over here, and get your brush kinda, and put a little haystack here. Maybe. Maybe a little. stack here too and then they have one in the picture kind of I 
the top. A little more red than I was hoping to have in that one. A little more brown in that. Cause, and that's kind of... It may not look exactly like haystacks, but that's okay. All right, next I'm just going to go ahead and do the background because... Then I'll put my tree. So I'm going to take some white. Still got a little yellow in my brush. Ideally, that would not be there, but I'm just trying to be quick. Oof, that's really bad. There's a lot of green in there, too. Let me try to get that off. <laughs> Dry that brush really well. All right, there we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to do the And I'm just going to get some of my blue and just kind of mix it in with the white and put some, you know, some clouds. They don't have to be perfect. Kind of little, little C's backwards and forwards. And because my blue is not perfectly mixed, it actually makes it look a little bit better. Get that one off the page a little. trees about to go over here okay so um, I actually have some bushes in the picture but I'm not gonna be drawing bushes I don't think all right next I'm gonna try my best to do a tree a few trees I'm gonna start over here and just kind of do a few tree trunks With the brown, just kind of small little branches coming out. All right, and then I'm going to do a bigger one here, which is where they're sitting in front of. some of my white from the skies and mix it in which is fine it kind of makes the tree look a pretty color of brown and then to do some some leaves on the tree I'm gonna get my green I'm gonna mix it with a little brown and red because the leaves aren't exactly the color green I have here's my paint so I'm just gonna kind of mix a little I'm just gonna do some this color and in this color as well and just kind of little dots with my brushes. As you know, leaves aren't exactly, um, they're not symmetric. They're not easy to see the symmetry in from a distance, so we don't really have to have them perfect. Just some You don't want them to push down too hard on the brush because it will ruin the brush, but just some little dabs here and there. And then I'm going to do a few over here, just really barely touching because these are more in the distance. And then I'm not even 
and go back with a little bit more of the green. And just dab it in. And a little bit of the yellow. And kind of give it some pretty lighter colors. And then I'm feeling like I want my trunk a little bit darker. So the paint should have dried some now. I'm gonna see if I can go back in and make it a little bit browner. Even though they are gonna be standing in front of it. Um, so if you wanted to do a shrub or two in front of where they're sitting, you can use that same color that you used for your trees, leaves, the brown would mix with the green, and, um, just depending on how much time you have, there can be some little, little shrubs here. in the background. All right, so then you would put this to the side, let it dry, you would get out this, have them use colored pencils on it, have them cut it out, and then once the painting is dry, they can position her where they would like, and you have Miss Andrew, Mrs. Andrews, we don't have Mr. there, but um, there's Gainsborough. 